name is Hagen Walker. And I'm Anna Barker. And we're the co-founders of Glow. So what you see right now is actually Glow House. So um, good to see familiar faces. I guess it's been a few years, or at least one. So um, since last time, uh, most of you probably know our other product called Glow Cubes. They're light up drink cubes. Uh, you put them in a drink, they light up, change colors. And we sold a lot of those in bars and restaurants um, throughout America. Well, during the midst of COVID, lots of bars and restaurants closed down. Um, however, we were fortunate enough to have another brand uh, at our disposal that has really kind of taken off, and that's Globe House. So we'll talk about a lot of forward-looking statements today with those, uh, which is kind of the same technology uh, that we created, but we've adapted it to the kids' space. So um, just since last time we were here in 2019, um, some, some key notes, uh, surpassed a million in sales uh, in 2019. Uh, we secured a licensing partnership with Sesame Street in 2020. Um, we had some awesome Easter sales last year. And um, for every bit of Globe House sales, we donate a portion to Children's of Mississippi. So uh, actually this year we surpassed 50K in donations to them. We moved into a new office earlier this year, which is a renovated theater. Uh, so if you're ever in Starkville, definitely come see us. And then uh, we found a to deal with Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, which is another children's brand. Actually, one of the number one shows on TV right now for kids, so we're excited about that. Um, so just a little bit more about our product. Uh, it's the same between the drink cubes and, and the, the Globe Pals, which are the light up children's sensory toys. Um, you drop these little cubes in water, they automatically light up. You take them out, uh, take them out of the water afterwards, shake them off, and they, they turn back on. Um, so the really cool thing about this is a parent in 2017 reached out to us. Uh, she had a son with autism and found one of our light-up drink cubes at a bar, took it home, put it in the bath, and it was the first time in months that her son had gotten in the bath without crying because it helped redivert his senses. And so from that, she reached out, told us about that, and uh, Anna kind of took that feedback and ran with it and created the, the initial brand behind the Globe House. And uh, here's what they look like now. We have characters, these little characters, as well as the cubes. So they, they come together, um, paired together, and, and they um, make bath time a whole lot more fun and interesting. Um, and so the cool thing is you can keep the character, uh, but you can use replacement cubes to, to keep them lighting up. And so um, we've seen a ton of success with this so far. And um, speaking a little bit on IP, right now we currently have two patents and a number of uh, trademarks. Everything's been granted. Uh, and we're in about 1,600 locations throughout the U.S. and as well as Canada. So uh, we just signed Macy's, Barnes & Noble, and actually SeaWorld this year. So I'm really excited about that. And in the press, um, you know, Mississippi is good at a lot of things. Sometimes being in a small town, it uh, makes it hard to get some national headlines. But... Uh, we've been really fortunate to have um, a ton of press, but also an award every year since launch. So this year we were named uh, one of the best preschool products of 2021. And uh, just some feedback on what we've seen organically. Um, just some amazing feedback from parents and uh, how this little toy is something fun that can really change the life of, of um, you know, a child with a disability. But also if you're a... a parent working at home and uh, trying to take a Zoom call, it's also a good distractor there as well. So, um, And then the last point uh, for me is uh, some of the Sesame Street stuff here. So we launched Elmo and Julia, the top two this year, and in Q1 of 2022, we'll launch Abby Cadabby, Big Bird, and uh, Cookie Monster. So what's been really interesting about this is uh, we launched the first two characters. Of course, everyone knows and loves Elmo. Uh, but it was really Julia that brought us together. Uh, so Julia is autistic, and so our story went really well with uh, Sesame Street. Um, made that par partnership come to life. And so while we have products that are actually outselling Sesame Street, Sesame Street lended a lot of validity to our company to get us into some of these new big box retailers. So that's been super exciting, and we're really looking forward to the other three uh, characters in, in Q1. And with some of that growth that Hagen mentioned, with the Globe House characters still selling as good as Sesame Street, if not better, one really interesting trend, uh, and it was really rewarding for us to see, is how the Globe House characters started to go beyond the bath. Um, suddenly we had moms reaching out, and it was completely organi organically, but we had parents using them in sensory bins and water tables, parents using them in the classroom, occupational therapists using them um, at, for exercise.
exercises for a child who might have a disability. Um, and we saw little ones just using them across um, across a wide array of different ways to play time. And so that was interesting because when they're using those characters, it doesn't even have the active technology that we originally created it, created the brand behind. But it was just that the child had identified enough with the actual product and the Globe Hall characters individually um, to sort of create that bond with them that we all had with our favorite childhood toy, if you can think back to what yours was. Um, and so this, the idea behind this and this uh, trend curve is really what's uh, going to lead the next stage of our product development and growth. Um, we're really going to be focusing on developing the Glow Pal characters. As you see, Lumi is the little purple Glow Pal down there. Um, right now, you can already find plenty of stuff on Lumi and read about her on our website. She loves to dance and she's more artistic. And so if your child is more like Lumi, you can get on there and you can access uh, a whole host of free resources and um, and learning exercises, classroom activities, things like that for your kid. And so um, if you see kind of with the illustrations on the little girl, you can see how, uh, how a child could start to sort of create a, um, a sort of bond and see similarities within the characters. So the way that we're going to capitalize on this momentum of the global character growth is uh, the first is going to be through continued product development, actual hardware and creating, continuing that line of, of toys. And the second is through digital content. So walking you through a little bit more of how that's going to look, it's going to be a three-phase um, ex uh, expansion into creating more digital media. The first is going to be engaging with our existing audience, which I'll give you a little information, more information on in just a moment. Um, the second is going to be actually creating that original media content ourselves um, and, and creating it in a, in a new platform, hosting it on new channels, um, that we don't have existing and trying to take that audience, grow them, and create uh, new channels to reach that audience. And the third is through animation of the character. I think that um, ultimately what we would love to have is a, a full series where the global characters come to life, they have full storylines and are animated, um, and can kind of bring the, the brain that we've created to life aside from just the actual physical product. Um, this gives a little more detail on phase one. It's, it shows how we're going to leverage our existing community. Uh, at the moment, we have, uh, and we actually have over 30,000 now. This was when we first created this. But we have over 30,000 moms uh, and parents that actively subscribe to our email list. We also get about 5,000 monthly blog readers, and that's going up because it's been something we've been investing into heavily recently, is trying to create free at-home resources for parents, free activities, um, a place where this community of parents and young millennial moms, which is about 90% of our market, but these millennial moms can come together and, and, and kind of see someone that um, is in the same phase of life as them. They can share advice, share uh, things that they're doing at home and, and how they're you know, getting through this pandemic and through these really important and vital years. Here's a little more detail on the second phase. It just goes into content production. Um, we, we have a really interesting opportunity to, to um, create really meaningful content for both parents and kids. Obviously, um, entertaining and educational content for a child is the first one that comes to mind, but we have this really great audience, as I mentioned, with parents. So ones where they can get on there and they're learning resources. Um, there are, again, other ways that, you know, that moms can get on there and connect with one another, and that content would be more geared directly at the parents. And then phase three, it goes into the character development a little bit more. Uh, each one of the characters already have complete storylines and, and personalities and character identities, but we would just continue to, to develop that out further and develop out the media and the resources that parents can access from that, um, along with the, the hardware development. Um, and the market opportunity, particularly on the third phase, uh, this just goes to show why this could be so beneficial. Uh, the, the, just the sheer reach that you can get to. Um, we all know about the supply chain issues. We've seen those in a pandemic with hardware, but being able to take a character that a kid already resonates with and um, get it into their home pretty much immediately through, through digital channels uh, could be a huge, huge um, uh, deal changer for us. And then, of course, we're going to continue on hardware development as well, which we can speak a little more to. Yeah, so two patents already. We have some other stuff in the works um, that we think could be patentable. I uh, can't share it in an open forum, but if you're interested, let us know later. Uh, financial forecast, this is how things look um, so far. So we've had some really um, great growth so far. Uh, everything's falling right in line. And this is how it could look if we add media in. Um, 
over time, do some character animations, and really have that cyclical part where products can promote the digital side and digital can promote products. Uh, this is uh, things to date. Actually, 2021 hopefully will go up a good bit. We actually just got our container in today, so we should do about 500K this month, uh, which is great. And uh, use of funds uh, for some of these purposes going forward. And I'm happy to speak more on that here in just a minute, but uh, that's all we had, so just about perfect time. If uh, any of y'all have any questions, definitely let us know.